And we're back. Okay, last page. Coincidences are bound to happen because they can be predicted by the laws the laws, hello, of probability. Isn't that cool? So some similar coincidence may be extremely likely or even certain. So some coincidences. Gosh, if I can spell, y'all know I can't spell. Coincidences, there we go. Some, oh gosh. Similar coincidences may be extremely likely or even certain, right? That means like a hundred percent or a one to occur. I like this question. This one's cool. So it's a birthday question. Suppose there are 25 students in your class. Okay, not even that many students, right? Like in our class, well, there might be, I think there might be 25 in our class. My other class is 155 students. So it's definitely gonna happen in that class. But anyways, the question is, what is the probability that at least one person has the same birthday as you? So remember, this is that at least once, which means it's one minus P of not A to that N power formula, right? So again, I have said it in class, but I would definitely put this formula on your note card if you are a note card person. All right, so. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out a color. This is good. So P birthday, I'm gonna say that's like the same. So the probability of having the same birthday as you is one out of 365. So assume not a leap year. So the probability of not your birthday is equal to, well, 364 out of 365, right? Because your birthday is one day of the year, so not your birthday is all the others. Um, and we have 25 people in our class. So that is one minus 364 over 365 to the 25 power. I'm gonna grab my calculator. So 364 divided by 365. Per all that raised to the 25th. Oops, if I could press button, that would be awesome. And then one minus this. So this is equal to 0 0.066, we'll say three, we'll round up. Okay, so about, uh, let's see, um, 6.4% likely, okay. So having the same birthday as you, 6.4% likely. Oh, that's actually not that much, is it? I think 20, 25 is pretty low. Oh, maybe it was B I was thinking of. What's the probabil probability that some pair of students in the class and students share the same birthday? Oh, yes, this is what I was thinking. So having the same birthday as you, eh, eh, you know, that's pretty specific. But just any pair in general, okay, how does it change? Did the results as part A, are they different or the same? So how do they change? So let's see. Again, we're still going to do at least one pair, okay? So it's still considered an at least one birthday, okay? So we're going to use at least one pair, right? Some pair means at least one pair. So it's one minus P of not paired B days. Okay. Well, here, we have to first find the probability 
that everyone has a different birthday. If I can write. AKA no shared birthdays. Well, in that case, this is, let me see the color. Um, 365 over 365, I mean like you have your own birthday, times 364 over 365, times 363 over 365, right? So this is the first student, you. The second student doesn't have your birthday. The third student doesn't have your birthday. The fourth student, so on and so forth, right? Doesn't have your birthday. So this is your birthday, right? You have that birthday, that's 100%. That's why it's a one. Then the second student, third student, all the way down to 25, right? So that would be 341 over 365. Or this is the permutation because order matters of 365 taken 25 at a time divided by 365 to the 25th power, right? Cause this is 365, 365, 365. Cause we're not taking birthdays away, right? On a calendar, so there's 365 birthdays. So this is your 25th student, right? So that's 365 to the 25th. So we can just grab our handy dandy calculator there. So let's see. So I'm going to go math, fraction, cheat a little, not cheat, but just so you have a better visual of 365 times math probability, NPR, because order matters, right? The birthday order matters. Choose 25 over 365 raised to the 25th. There we go which is approximately, where's my green? 0 0.431 or 43.1%. But remember, this is no shared birthdays, right? This is no shared B days, right? So now we need to come back up to our are at least one shared, right? Some pair, at least one. Let me change colors for visual effects. So that's one minus are not paired, no shared birthdays. 0 0.431. One minus 0 0.431 is 0 0.569. Or let's call it 57% likely. So may, maybe you and someone else might not have a paired birthday, but the fact that there is a pair of birthdays in the classroom is more than 50-50. I think that's pretty cool. So like this is what I said when I, this is what I was thinking of my class of 155 students. The likelihood that two people in that class have the same birthday is very high. Especially if you think of like, Let's see, 155 divided by 365. Yeah, that's almost half the year. That's for over 40%. Okay, of students. Right, so even if, uh, yeah, so even if they all have, well, what am I trying to say? It doesn't matter. It's pretty cool, I think. But that's it. So that is combination uh, and permutation. Uh, here for the next couple of days, we are just going to hit hard on this uh, because it can be a lot. It can be confusing. But this concludes the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. My email is ld1168 at cxstate.edu.
edu edu if you need to get a hold of me okay but y'all have a fantastic day um and anything i will see you next time bye